you done? What did you multiply all three terms by? Yes, sir. Multiple of 12. Multiple of 12 totally works. Did anyone choose a different number other than 12? Okay. So if I were to multiply everything by 12 over 1, if I multiply this by 12 over 1, this by 12 over 1, and this by 12 over 1, this reduces. Remember, we reduce the fraction. What does this become on uh, that first term? 8. Eight equals, um, what does this become? Don't forget the sign. Plus 12y, right? Equals net there. What do I get there? Nine. Nine. Good. Okay. What's next? Subtract eight. Subtract eight from both sides. Okay. What's my answer going to be? No. One over twelve. So you divide each side by twelve, so you get one over twelve. Perfect. Does that look okay? Sweet. Can I erase? Uh, number three, number three is actually one half parentheses three x plus six equals nine. Now, quick question: How many terms are up there right now? Two. Two. Why is it two and not three? The parentheses. The one half, and then what's that? Should be a plus sign. Sorry, yeah. I'm running out of ink. My pen. So the 1 half parentheses 3x plus 6 is only one term, and then the 9 is one term, so there's two terms up there. So if there's only two terms up there, what you should do is you should multiply both terms by to get rid of that fraction. There's only two terms up there. What should I multiply both terms by? Huh? I, you could do 18, and that would indeed cancel out the fraction, but I think you should go a little smaller. Three, if you put it, do it by three, that fraction becomes three over two, so that doesn't work. Two. If you multiply both sides by two, that's going to get rid of the one half. And if you get rid of the one half, what would you distribute over the parentheses? Anybody? One. Good. So multiply both sides by two over one. And that should do it. See how you do. Show your neighbor when you're done. Make sure your neighbor's looks like yours. If it doesn't, one of you might have made an error. Does anybody need a smidge more time to work it out? Okay. You ready? Multiply both sides by what? Two over one. Two over one. 
So that cancels, distributing one over the parentheses. If this was a different number other than one, you'd distribute that over. So I get 3x plus 6 is equal to what? 18. 18, good. Now what? Subtract 6. Subtract 6. So I get 3x is equal to... Is that right? Yeah. Then what? Divide by 3. Divide by 3? Sweet. X is equal to 4. Cool. You feel okay about that? Does everyone see where we did? Does everyone see that it's only two terms? Now, it would be three terms if I distributed the 1 half over the parentheses. So you have two terms as the green. Actually, when you distribute over the parentheses, it becomes three terms, actually. Does that make sense? All right. Um, can I clear the sink? All right, so problem number four. Problem number four is m over 2 plus m over 3 equals 1. So I have it written right there. I'm actually going to reduce that, and I'll just put it right here. m over 2 plus m over 3 is equal to 1. While you're working on it, how many terms do we have? Three. I have three terms. Does everyone see three terms? Yeah. Okay. I have two different denominators. What's the smallest number that both two and three share with each other? Six. Six. So I'm going to multiply all three terms by what? Six over one. Six over one. Good. As you start to get done, show your neighbor. Make sure your yours is matching your neighbor's. May I start working this out? Yes. Okay, so we all agree three terms. Does anybody suck on that? Do we all agree that we're going to multiply all three terms by 6 over 1? Is anyone not sure why we're using 6 over 1 and not 12 over 1 or 24 over 1? And I don't know what this is up here right now. I don't know what this is. Right, so that's going to be put by 6 over 1. And the reason I always have it over 1 is because we're clearing fractions. Remember when we multiply a fraction times a fraction, we can indeed reduce. So that's really all we're doing. Um, technically, 6 over 1 is the exact same thing as what number? It's the same thing as 6, but if we keep it constant as a fraction throughout, we should be okay. Um, let's see, this will reduce to what? Three, so I got a three on. If there was a number in front of this, you'd multiply it, but there's not in this case. Okay, the plus sign's gonna come down. Uh, what does this reduce to? Oh, I already did. Sorry. And what does this become? Six. So nice. We eliminated all fractions, which is pretty sweet. Uh, combine like terms. Yes. So that's what. Five m equals six. What is m equal to? 6 over 5. 6 over 5. So what did I do to undo 5m? Divided by 5. Is that okay? And notice I left it at 6 over 5. I didn't make it 1 and 1 fifth. Did I clear the ink? Next one is going to be 2 minus 1 fourth m equals 3 over 5. Take a look what you have. 
How many terms are up there while you're writing? How many terms are up there right now? There are three. So you want to understand why we have three terms up there. Okay. We have two different denominators. One of the denominators is? What is the other is? One five on my two denominators. What number is the smallest number that both four and five join to? Twenty. Okay. If the smallest term that all of them go into is twenty, what am I going to multiply all three terms by? Twenty over one. Exactly right. Good. Show your neighbor what you've done. And quick question. Some of you are not able to get our textbook yet because it's um, not ordered. Who needs a book? I have made some copies. Supposedly they've ordered more. I'll let you know in a couple minutes. It should take us through next week or so.